Hello dear students, hope you are all safe and sound. Uh, today we will discuss the pre-Raphaelite movement in art and literature. In 1810s, two German painters, Cornelius and Overbeck, founded a society in Rome, which is named as the German Pre-Raphaelite Brethren. They gave themselves this name because they drew inspiration from Italian masters before Raphael, in whom they found certain characteristics which were absent in the sophisticated art of Raphael and his successors. Their aim was to restore to art its medieval purity and simplicity. In 1848, a pre raphaelite brotherhood was formed in England by three young painters called Dante Gabriel Rossetti, John Everett Millier, William Holman Hunt. They aimed at a return to older principles in painting. But as Rossetti, many of them were writers as well. They wrote poetry as well. Their work gave rise to a literary movement along the same lines. In painting, they advocated a close study of nature and a revival of the spirit and methods of the early Italian painters. They aimed at infusing the same spirit into literature. Among the notable poets who were influenced by this movement were William Morris and Swinburne. Coming to the characteristic features of uh, this uh, pre raphaelite movement, you know, uh, let's see where this name came from. And as I have told you, the pre raphaelites thought that Raphael had produced technically perfect religious pictures but with little spiritual feeling. But it was not sensuous in nature. On the contrary, they admired the art and painters before Raphael. So they have a medieval outlook. That is the main characteristic feature of pre raphaelite poetry and also painting. Like the Romantics, the pre raphaelites were inspired by the Middle Ages by their romance, chivalry, superstition, and uh, the strange combination of the material and the mystical. They were repelled by the sordidness and materialism that had taken hold of the minds of the victorious. They sought to escape from the world of sordid reality to a land of beauty, art, and loneliness. Loving, loveliness. They sought refuge in romance, in the mysticism of the Middle Ages. Their purpose was to encourage simplicity and naturalness in literature. And one of their chief objects in this, the phase of doubt and materialism was to express the wonder, reverence and awe which characterizes the medieval art. As you all know, Victorian age was characterized by doubt, you know, laws of faith, you know, materialism, industrialization and so on. Other features include the principle of arts for arts sake. They give importance to that. Then vivid visual presentation and melody. Beauty and comparative simplicity of the material world was given importance. The pre raphaelite movement was against the didactism, moral fervor and the preoccupation of poets with contemporary society. During the Victorian age, there was this growing tendency to make literature a handmaiden of social reforms and instrument for propagation of morals and spiritual ideas. The pre raphaelites were above all artists. Art was their religion. They had no morality to preach, no reforms to introduce through the medium of poetry and painting. Love, beauty was their creed and they aimed at perfect form and finish in art and literature. They didn't give emphasis to didactism in literature, in art. And they gave emphasis to vivid visual presentations. The spray raffled poetry especially was strongly pictorial, rendering in minute details. They 
exercise the faculty for a faculty of observation almost involuntarily. Their works appear to be a rhythmic page and of color. Pictures are drawn with the richness of a painter's brush. A strong conception of scene and situation, precise delineation, lavish imagery, and wealth of detail are their distinguishing features. And they preferred bright jewel-like colors that were often used in symbolic way. And you know, they gave importance to the visual aspect in poetry and also in, poet in painting. The pre raphaelite of poetry was melodious. It is particularly rich in melody. They sort it deliberately sometimes to the loss of any precise meaning. With, uh, for example, Swinburne's poetry. You know, the flow of musical language is, is so sift and profuse that it hardly appears to be the result of any conscious effort. The deliberation and the onomat I mean alliteration, use of alliteration and other uh, features like onomatopoeia, uh, the effects of those uh, features seem to arise quite spontaneously. And as I have told you, uh, in this movement, this movement affected poets and uh, other writers as well. Many of the notable pre raphaelite paintings were inspired by the works of Dante, Shakespeare, Keats and Tennyson. For example, the painting, uh, paintings by D.G. Rossetti that, uh, and one of the paintings we have to learn, painting as well as the sonnet accompanied. This Rossetti was... Uh, this uh, Rossetti was the mastermind of this pre-raphaelite uh, movement. His poetry is characterized by sensuousness and mysticism. You know, he emphasized a beauty, gave importance to sensual details, and symbolic meanings were given to common objects or situations. This uh, Ross we'll, we need to look to uh, look at Rossetti in detail because you know uh, we have to do a poem, a sonnet, and a painting by Rossetti. You know, uh, no other poet has done has ha had this you know hunger for the human soul for hunger of the human soul for love and beauty. He wrote a collection of one not one sonnets entitled "The House of Life," in which he gave expression to his love for uh, Elizabeth Siddal. Other well-known poems are The Blessed Damsel, Sister Helen, etc. You know, like other pre raphaelite uh, poets, you know, he also had a medieval outlook in all his paintings as well as his uh, poems. You know, we find this uh, medieval outlook, a way with visual representations, then uh, use of melody, then also the principle. He also follows the principle arts for arts sake. And towards the end of the Victorian era, in the 1860s, developed the second wave of pre raphaelite movement. You know, that, uh, the, it's called aesthetic pre raphaelitism which opened way to arts and crafts movement, then to aestheticism and decadence, and finally to art nova. So uh, we'll, we'll be looking at these uh, different movements in art. So kindly, uh, I mean, listen to the class, that class as well. Overview of art, the different movements uh, in art and in painting especially. And in the second wave, uh, there are two main artists. One is a painter who painted romantic dreams, Sir Edward Burne Johns and William Morris, who initiated a trend of interior decoration. In the second wave, literature, in literature, focused on sensuous description as well as subjective psychological states so this is just a brief our a brief uh, introduction to pre raphaelite movement so for your exam you need to look at the pre raphaelite movement you have to describe what it is then the characteristic features of this movement so what are the characteristic features of this movement this medieval outlook the principle of arts for arts sake, then vivid visual representation, then the melody and a sensuousness. So all these are characteristic features of pre raphaelite movement and write about the famous uh, painters and writers of this time 
and come to the second wave. We can conclude with the second wave of pre-rathlet movement. Thank you.